at 5 o'clock, or only 5 o'clock game, we got Wagner, which is 0-3, traveling to Syracuse, which is 4-0 on the ACC Network Extra slash ESPN+. Plus. Garrett Schrader for Syracuse has gone 73-110, from for 986 yards, 8 touchdowns, 1 interception. Sean Tucker, I hardly know, has had 87 carries for 314 yards and 2 touchdowns. And Oren Gadsden has had... The second has had 19 catches for 300 yards and three touchdowns. And Syracuse is one of those surprise 4 and out teams. Um, obviously, Kansas is the biggest surprise 4 and out team. I don't think a lot of people expected Kansas to be 4 and out. I don't know if they expected Kansas to be 2 and out. Um, but regardless, they are. Uh, uh, but Syracuse is one of the bigger surprises as well because Syracuse was not expected to be good at all, considered one of the worst ACT teams heading into the year. Um, while they played some pretty close games, uh, eked by a Purdue team, it's pretty good, but honestly eked like, very close, and they eked by Virginia last weekend. Um, the Qs, through all that, is still 4-0. Great chance to move to 5-0 here. Uh, they have a bye next weekend, so great opportunity to be a playoff eligible team in week six of next of college wait not week six it'd be week seven of college football absolute insanity did not expect the cues to be this good but here we are we're sitting in a universe where the cues will likely be not likely they will be talked about and week seven <laughs> of college football season maybe even week eight uh, actually, I kind of did expect to talk about in Week 7 because they were playing NC State. But regardless, I did not expect to be actually be talking about the Qs. Is they're probably going to be a top 25 team when they face NC State. They're playing a poor Wagner team, 0-3 uh, oh for a reason. Not a good football team. Um, and the Qs has a great opportunity here at home to put on a show for the crowd. I think they do, and I think they win this game by a lot and cover the spread.